close your eyes and give some time for your own mind. In other words, let go of all your responsibilities outside and focus on the breath. The breath is what keeps the body and the mind together, and the quality of the breath is going to determine how well they get together. So give the breath some attention. And this way give the mind one thing to think about, and that's how the mind rests. I mean, you can rest it by falling asleep, but that doesn't strengthen the good qualities inside as much as meditation does. But the sleep just gives you rest, but the strengthening comes from the meditation, because you're going to be mindful each time the mind slips off. You have to remember, bring it back, and be alert to catch it. All too often our minds are doing things and thinking things that we're not even really aware of. We end up acting on impulses that we don't understand, because we aren't fully there to watch what's going on inside. So give the mind some time, give it some attention. After all, it deserves your respect, because it's the most important part of you. The body is helpful for a while, but then it starts getting old, and then this falls apart and that doesn't function, and finally the whole thing just goes. It's the mind that lasts, and the qualities of the mind that you build into it. Those are the things that you can carry on from this life and beyond this life. So give some respect to your mind. You may have noticed we do a lot of bowing down around here. We bow down primarily to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha because they provide us with a good example. They show us that we should respect certain things within ourselves that are really are worthy of respect. Our desire for true happiness, in other words, a happiness that doesn't disappoint, doesn't change, doesn't harm anybody, and then our ability to find that happiness. These are abilities that we have in the mind, but for most people they go undeveloped. And it's a real waste. You've got a human life, and what our culture wants us to do now is just monetize everything. I was reading about a camp for teenagers, teaching teenagers how to monetize their their talents. And of course, the people running the camp were monetizing their camp pretty well. But that's not something worthy of respect, because you gain money and then you lose it, and we just keep scrambling around. The Buddha's vision of human life is like fish in a stream, a puddle that's drying up. And everybody's squabbling and fighting over that last little gulp of water, but they're all going to die anyhow. Why don't we turn our attention to look at something deathless? Because there is that possibility. There is that possibility within the mind, and we have the talent. And we have the abilities that we can, if we develop those talents and abilities, find something that goes beyond death. That's something we really, really respect. So when you're meditating, when you're practicing virtue, when you're practicing generosity, you're bowing down to your own mind, you're bowing down to your own potential to find true happiness. And that's something really worthy of respect. And the fact that the Buddha teaches us this and keeps reminding us of this, that's why we bow down to him. The Dharma is his teaching, the Sangha is the, the community of people who followed his teachings and got the same results. These are all people worthy of respect. Our culture teaches us to respect other people, but it's good to keep in mind that these are the people that we want to take as our example, because they show us something really worthwhile in ourselves, something that we really should respect within ourselves. The culture says, don't worry about true happiness, just get the pleasures that come from buying this, buying that, going here, going there. But that's not really something that's worthy of respect. It's just living by our animal appetites. It's our minds and the qualities of mind that we can develop through the meditation, mindfulness, alertness, concentration, discernment, wisdom. These are the things that lift us above the animal level, and this is what makes us worthy of respect, too. So as we bow down to the Buddha, remember we're bowing down to the goodness, the potential for goodness inside us. Make sure that you give it the respect it deserves. <laughs>